The creators of the Weta developed not only an exceptional sailboat, but one that is easy and quick to rig, transport, and store. The overall system is beyond clever, and we all know that the less time it takes to rig a boat, the more often it'll get used. From trailer to water, it is possible to rig the Weta in only about 15 minutes. Now, many owners will say, there's no way you can get this thing from the trailer to the water in only 15 minutes, but I assure you, it is possible. It takes just a little practice and a few time-saving measures. Let's take a look at a few of them. For starters, uh, locate one of these inexpensive canisters of uh, bungee canopy ties. You can pick up a half dozen to a dozen pieces for, oh, I don't know, three, four, or five bucks. Uh, they're going to save you a lot of time. As you follow along over the next couple of minutes, you'll see why. One West Coast weather dealer had suggested that a windsurfing type quiver bag would be quicker and easier to store your weather sails in. And he was right. It's a lot easier to put three sails in one bag than to stuff three sails individually into separate bags. It's also easier to put them in a bag that zips down the middle instead of having to stuff them in from one end. Now all three sails are in this bag. I roll up the main and the jib together. Notice that the screecher is still attached to the sprit. So too is the furling line, which has been attached with the bungee, but it's still attached to the furler, and the screecher sheet which has also been taken loose only from one side of the screecher clue, coiled and attached to the sprit. To install it, I just slide the sprit in the front of the boat, unbungee the furling line, run it back to the clip, hook it, route the screecher sheet around the boat and tie it on one end, and I'm done. This is the better idea, quicker, save you a couple of three minutes. It is absolutely not necessary to remove your halyards from the mast, even for trailering. Leave them in place, bring them down here to the furl end of the top section of the mast, bundle them up neatly, couple of canopy bungees, put it on the trailer and go on down the road. You just saved another two or three minutes. It's not at all necessary to remove your side shrouds from the boat for storage or transport. Leave everything hooked up, coil the stay loosely, flip the T-ball end around a couple of times, and use one of your canopy bungees, bungee it to the center handle on your tram. Save yourself another minute. You can cost yourself a lot of time if you manage to pull the, the tramp tightening line up inside of this sleeve. So when you take your tramp loose each time, just do that. You don't have to tie a knot, but just slip it through itself so if you pull from the other end, this won't disappear on you. Do it the other end too. You may pull this way first. Save yourself several minutes possibly. Everything you need to secure your tramps and amas to the main hull already on the boat. You don't need any extra straps. You've got your Cunningham line and your main sheet. Hook them together, tighten them up. Save yourself a minute or two. It's not absolutely necessary to remove your tiller extensions from the tiller. Again, run this outside the bag, another bungee, and save yourself a half a minute. Because I'm using my main sheet to hold my tramps down, it's already on the boat, never comes off. If you've been taking yours off, think about doing it this way, save yourself another minute. I've seen a lot of elaborate systems for attaching a weta to the dolly and the dolly to the trailer. An awful lot of them overkill. You want to be safe and you want the boat to be secure, but there's simple ways to do it. I've got a short loop of rope here. The winch holds the trailer forward. Of course, it can't come off because it's pinned here. The boat is held at the front to the dolly by a rope attached to the, the frame of the uh, road trailer, back up around the front of the handle, through the strop, around here, around the pin there, and back up and tie it off with a trucker's hitch. A lot quicker and a lot better than these ratchet straps. Save yourself another minute or two. 
The dolly, when pulled forward, sailed to the trailer with that U connection. The boat is held to the dolly with these. So you really don't need to do a lot more. However, if you want to be super secure, run a rope from one side of the trailer to the other, through the eye here or around the trailer itself. This is the trucker's hitch. Save yourself another few minutes. You do not need all these ties and ratchet straps. And beyond that, another thing to keep in mind, the larger diameter the rope is, the easier it is to tie and untie. Save yourself another minute. The less time it takes to rig or derig a sailboat, the more often the owner is going to use the boat. If you can use these tips to save 10 or maybe 15 minutes rigging and derigging, you've just cut your time by as much as 30 minutes which is 30 more minutes you can spend on the water each time out. Good luck.